It is important to care for your instrument properly and to maintain its operation. One of the most crucial areas of operation is the valves of the instrument. The valves need to be lubricated, usually on a, at least a weekly basis. Depending on the, the atmosphere you're playing in, if it's very dry, they may need to be lubricated more than at a weekly basis. You can get a valve oil that is appropriate at any music store and then learn how to apply this oil to the valves to help them operate properly. It's important to remember that the oil, you want to go on the valves, not on your pants, not on the floor or any of your mother's good uh, doilies or other things. So be careful where you go to oil your valves. Usually it's best to do with it either sitting on your lap or placing it on a flat surface. Undo the valve very carefully, undoing the top valve cap. Undo the top of the valve oil, place the top elsewhere. It may be in a, in a package like this, or you may also have the valve oil with a dropper, which can be placed on the valve. You pull the valve out a certain amount of length and put a few drops of oil on the valve. Don't take the valve all the way out. You might have the danger of dropping the valve. Just pull it out a certain length, about half of its length, and apply oil, and then insert the valve, being careful to get the valve guide, which is the little piece of plastic or metal which matches a slot in the valve, to match up. Then reattach the top of the valve and move the valve to see, make sure that the lubrication is spread all over the valve. Then you can go on and do the next valve the same way. There are times when you want to set the instrument down during a slight break or pause in your practice or during a band rehearsal. If you be careful how you do this, you will avoid injury to your instrument. If you have a bell forward instrument, you can set it flat on the ground in the same way as you would treat a bell up instrument. With a bell in up instrument, however, you should avoid putting it on its bell this way because that often will create some instability and it could easily fall over and be injured and dented and uh, have a real repair bill for you. It's better to place the horn on its back this way so that it's very stable. It's best to put it on a flat surface where people are not going to walk, also where it is not going to be knocked over by another chair or music stand. Try to avoid putting it on a chair, especially a folding chair, which could collapse and also cause it to fall and be dented or otherwise injured. Taking care of your instrument is very important when you ever have to leave it for more than a few seconds. Occasionally you'll need to lubricate the slides for each of the valves. To lubricate them, you can use any petroleum jelly or Vaseline, or you can get a specific slide lubricant at a music store. Undo the cap to the lubricant, and you can place the instrument on your lap, or you can place it on a flat surface. Press the valve down for the slide you are going to remove. If you're removing the first valve slide, press down the first valve to avoid uh, extra compression on the slide. Remove the slide carefully from the instrument. You then take a clean cloth or a paper towel and wipe that slide very clean from its former lubricant or any dirt that has acquired on that slide. Taking the slide, take a small amount of lubricant on your fingers and place it on the slide. And work it in a little bit all the way around the slide. Be careful about using too much lubricant. You don't want to use too much. And then you gradually get it so it's worked into the slide. Then you take the slide, insert first one half into the casing and slide it back and forth. You may find that you have excess lubricant there. You can take your, your cloth or your paper towel and wipe that off. Then do the other side the same way. 
And then pressing the first foul, you can insert both slides and then check to make sure the slide moves back and forth much more easily now that it's properly lubricated. Care of the finish of your instrument is also important. You can use a soft cloth to wipe your fingerprints off either a silver plated instrument such as this one or a lacquered or gold instrument. The advantage of a silver instrument many times is that you can use a silver polishing cloth such as this cloth that I'm opening this package with a yellow cloth on uh, their different instruments and they're usually silver polishing available at any jewelry store or there are also specific ones for instruments. And by rubbing softly on the instrument and repeatedly, sometimes even breathing on it a little like you are breathing on a, a set of glasses to clean it, <sighs> creating a little frost and then you can remove any marks of, of water or fingerprints from the instrument and it looks as good as new. And you can do this with the mouthpiece as well, rubbing it so all of a sudden it looks brand new. Taking good care of your instrument and wiping it off at least when you are done practicing helps maintain the finish of both a silver and a lacquered instrument.